Hello and welcome to a new video in the RS Alpha series and in this video I'm going to show you how to build an advanced game. On Ars Alpha you have two options to set up a game. You have the quick game that I already made a video about and that is the thing that you just use if you want to track your squad. That's just really easy, basic. And then you have the advanced game and that is if you want to use all the sizzles and dizzles and the whole shebang that RS Alpha has to offer you. With an advanced game you can run uh, different teams, different objectives, you can add the tactical boxes, you can add the target systems, you can add everything that RS Alpha has to offer you. Now in the advanced game you also have two options uh, to set it up. One you can set it up with your mobile phone. That is the most basic advanced game that you can set up and there are some things that you can't do on your mobile phone. And the other thing is setting it up on your computer and that is something that I recommend if you want to uh, make a big game you want to set it up on your computer then you can use all the options that um, the advanced game has. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up on your computer and the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up on your mobile phone and then I'm going to show you what the difference and what you can do on the mobile phone that you can do on your computer. Now let's get into how to set it up on your PC. Now you go to the RS Alpha website and then you go to events. Now when you set up a game on your computer you can do that way before the game. You can do that hours before the game but you can do that also weeks before the game. This is the advantage of setting it up on your computer. You can have everything set up and you can send it to everybody that is going to play on it and you can give some basic information already about the game that is coming up. Now if you want to start you go to the website and you log in with your account. Now it's important that you log in with the account that you will use on your phone. The one that will be the game master. Now click on the events and there you can see the past games and my events. You click on my events and we're gonna create a new one you click on the plus symbol now we're gonna start on the left side and there you can choose your team i'm gonna keep it standard on the blue and the red team you can change the name of the teams you can change the color uh, and you can add more teams a green team a yellow team and you can also delete them by using the trash can yes i'm sure yes i'm sure you can build as many teams as there are colors in the uh, in the RS Alpha, so there are uh, two, four, six, around ten teams that you can build. Now, be sure if you use the RS Alpha tactical box, the the advanced one with the four players or the small one with two players, that you can only set up four players on the big box to play the game. So don't set up more teams if you use that box. And if you use the small box with only two teams, only set up two teams here. Below that, there says there is no money in the game. Now, the money is the credits. I'm not going to go into detail about the credit system. I'm going to make a whole new video about that. But now, basically, the credit system is uh, the in-game points that you can gain by scanning QR codes or holding areas. Um, this is the in-game ranking system for the game. But you can add money here. You can just add the plus symbol, add some values. Like I said, not going to go in detail, but no, it's there. And if the video is done, I'm going to link it here so you can uh, automatically find it. And if it's not here, I'm going to put it in the description. Now, the next thing is the game settings. Now, the game setting is you can add a name of your game. Like I'm going to call it test game. And you can add a description of that game. Test game thing. There you go. And here you can set up the start and the end time of your event. Now this is important for two things. One, players know when the game starts and when it ends, but also for your own recording. Every game that you play is recorded and in the past game stuff, you can look back at all the games that have been played. So that's really useful as an organizer that you can see the game back and see how everything develops during that game. But you have to set it up correctly here. If you don't set it up correctly here, your recording will be wrong. The next thing that you set up is the game location. Uh, let's call it home. You can set it up. Uh, you can call the location whatever you want. Uh, you can set up the longitude and the longitude. This is just for information about the game for now. Maybe they will do something with that later. But for now, it's just information for the player. The next thing is the location update. That is the update rate that the player updates his location to uh, the big game. I usually set it on uh, bigger games, I set it on a minute. For other games, it depends on how fast you want to play the game. Like it's, if it's a really short game and there is a real time thing going on with boxes and whatever or not, you can put it on as many seconds as you want. Just test it out what works for you best. So set it up for the seconds that you want. And the next thing you have to check boxes that's for in-game medics and in-game referees. Now the in-game medics that is for when you use the app and they will get notifications. Uh, but I'm going to make a different video about the medics and the referees to go a little bit more in detail on what you can do with it and how they work. 
but if you're not sure if you're going to use them in your game just check the boxes if you don't want to use it you don't have to use it but if you do want to use it and you already set up your game you can't check it while the game is running so that's why if you're not sure if you're going to use it just check the boxes and you don't use it and if you want to use them just you can use them when you set up the medics and the referee thing you can choose a map now i already made a video about how to make a custom map and here you can choose that map for example i'm going to choose the map from bellum c19b also, I'm going to link the video about how to make a custom map in the description. And the document is basically a piece of information that you can give the players before the event. This is only accessible through the website. This is not possible to get that document from the app. So people have to go to the link that I'm going to show you in a second uh, to download that document. This can be a rule set. This can be um, a briefing, anything that players can need before an event. Now on the right side there is a big QR code. This is the QR code for you as a game master to get into the game with your mobile phone. I'm going to do that in a second. And then below that there is a public link that you can share to the players or you can even uh, share the QR code to the players. And then they can see the map, the document and the information about the game before the game. But they cannot enter it, they cannot use it. Uh, this is just for pre-game information for the player or for the game master to get into your uh, game to set it up on your mobile phone. Now I'm going to show you if I, uh, I'm going to save it. Yep, it's saved. And if I use this link, a new tab, you can see the information that we have set up. We'll have to zoom out a bit. There you go. And this is the custom map that I made for Bellum. You can see the areas and the objectives that I placed when I made the custom map. You can also see the start and the end time and you can see where the game is held. And if you added a document, you can find that document here. There will be a download link where people can download the information that you uploaded on the documents link. And now the game is ready to be run as a game master and you can start building your hierarchy and invite players to your game. Now I always show you how to get into that game on your mobile phone. So now I'm going to start building the game with my mobile phone. Now if you open up Ars Alpha, you click on the scan areas to join the game. There you go. And then you can just scan the QR code from your computer. And you are in the game and it says you are the game master of that game and now we can start clicking on invite and as in GM you can add a blue general a red general a medic and a referee and this is how you can build that hierarchy and if you now go to the area where the game is going you can see that the you can see that the Bellum map is loaded all the objectives are loaded and you can see as a game master what is going on and you can add objectives you can add an objective just yes save uh, you can delete the objectives now it's important as a game master you can only delete the things that you placed on the map while the game was running now the objectives that i placed on the map when i made the map i cannot delete them anymore from my mobile phone so they are fixed so be careful with that if you make your custom map but that and more information uh, you can find in the custom map uh, video that I made. Now, if you're in the game and you want to edit something, there are a few things that you can add while the game is running. Now, if you go to the edit game tab, you can change the team names. You can change the color of that team. Uh, you can add a team. Uh, you can change the name from the game if you want that. Maybe there's a typo that you want to change. You can change the description. Now, it's better not to mess with the start and the ending time because that is um, configured with the recording system. So you better leave it on that. You can change the location name, latitude, longitude. Um, and also, there there is an option to change the location update. Now, you, you can change it here, but it will not change in the game. If you change that update right here, every player has to build back the hierarchy and re-enter into the game. So don't change that here. Uh, try to think about that before you set up the game. And also the in-game medic and referee thing, you can deselect it here. It's not going to work if nobody uh, is re-entering the game. So keep in mind, the only thing that you can change are the team names, the name of the team, the description, the location, all the other things, leave them as they be. And this is how you set up the game as a game master and where you can start building your hierarchy. Now I'm going to uh, leave the game and there we go. We're out of the game. So now I'm going to show you how to set up your advanced game on your phone. And it's, um, you start with create a new game. And now you have the two options, like I said, create a quick game or an advanced game. We're going to choose the start advanced game. 
And as you can see, I'm immediately into the game as a game master and can still and I can start building that game from scratch from, with my phone with nobody in the game yet. And we go again to the edit game tab where we can change the things that I told you that you can change. If nobody is in the game, you can change anything you want here because you didn't build any uh, hierarchy yet and nobody has to drop out of the game and go into the game because you changed some things. And those are basically the same things that I showed you earlier. Uh, those are the same settings that you can change, but now you can um, now you have to fill it in all from scratch Now you can change the name of the team. You can change the color You can add a different name. You can add a description to start and end time and this is important too Because we are setting this up from our phone. There is no recording. There will not be recording There will also be no event on the computer uh, or on the server from RS Alpha So this is just basically running from your phone and everything that you set up here will stay here That's why I advise to set up your game with your computer. You can do it basically here. The option is there uh, I just don't like it. If you like it use it. It's there. Just use it if you want to and here you can set up all the data Just put in a name a game description start and end time Game location, longer latitude, a location update for the smaller games. I advise you to go a little bit faster than in one minute, maybe 30 seconds or uh, what's the next thing, 20 seconds or something like that. Click if you want to use medic or referees and then click save. Now, if you press save, this will not give you a message that it's saved, but the game is saved. And as you can see, there is nothing here. The map that was there uh, a minute ago, it's not here. But as a game master, I can start adding objectives on it uh, New objective. Yeah, I'm not going to fill everything in. I'm just gonna click save Oh, and maybe one cool feature that they added in the newest update So be sure to always keep your app updated. They keep updating the app with new features Now you can make an objective that is only seen by the red team or you can make it unseen for all teams And then at one point you can make it seen for the blue team click save and now the objectives is will only be seen by the blue team this is a cool new feature for game masters to use yeah you can hide objectives you can prepare objectives um, and make them pop up uh, when you want it it's a really cool new feature that they added uh, yep i like that feature a lot save and this is how you set up your advanced game on your phone now it's really simple to set up an advanced game on your phone it's really simple to set up on, on your computer i advise you to set it up on your computer because you have a little bit more options and you can have that playback feature what is pretty cool as a game master to see what really happened on your game to see what if there are choke points or if people didn't use some parts of the game area that you can maybe put objectives in next time to make sure that people use that part of your field there are a few differences between setting it up on your phone and on your computer the main thing is you don't have the recording option and there is no way to use the credit system if you set it up on your mobile phone and this is how you set up the game on your mobile phone or on your computer and it's really easy to do that and that's why i really like this uh this app it gives you a lot of features to work with and it's really straightforward to use and everybody can use it now and if you want more information about the app i'm gonna link the website in the description you can find tutorials and manuals there and there is also a playlist with videos from the RS Alpha app that you can find on my channel. And if you want to find more videos about the things that I do in Airsoft, just go to my channel and check those videos out. And if you want to keep up to date with all the videos, consider subscribing and uh, follow me on my other social media platforms to see what else I'm doing uh, while I'm not making those videos. And this brings us to the end of the video and I hope you learned some more about the RS Alpha app and I hope I can see you next week for a new video. Bye.